Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will learn about Terraform Lookup function. First of all, let's try to understand why do we need Lookup function. If you have a requirement to search a specific key from your map object, then Lookup is the right choice of function to use in your Terraform configuration. If you look at the definition of the Lookup function, it takes the first argument as in the map object, the object which could have the collection of key value pair, you could have a key and the value. So let's look at the definition of the lookup function. So lookup function accepts a map as in first argument. So you could have a map type of argument as the first argument. And the objective here is by using the lookup function that we would like to retrieve the key value pair from that map object using a specific key. So you provide the name of the key to your lookup function. It will search that particular key inside the map object. And if it finds a specific key, it will return the result. That's the use of it. And then you have this third argument, the argument which is which has a default value. In case if lookup function is not able to find a result within the map object with the specific key which you have provided. In such cases, you can specify a default value to your lookup function. By having a default value, you can from this object find a key value pair from the map object. And if it doesn't find, use this default value. This is what the typical scenario which you can use it. What would be the result type of a lookup function? It will give you the value out of that particular key. So if you have a key value pair, it will search for the key and it will return the value of that particular key. Okay. I'll show you an example. How do you use the lookup function and which scenario you should be using lookup function in your Terraform code. So now let's see how do we use the lookup function in, in which scenario. As I mentioned, lookup function requires a map as in first argument. So we need to define a variable or an argument as a map type which we can use for our lookup function. For this, let's say I have a locations function or maybe I should say allowed location. So what, what does it mean? I have a variable which contains the list of or the map of allowed location which I can use within my project resources. It means I can only create this uh, I can only create resources in either of these locations. So now anybody who is one who wants to create a resource in the east US location, east US location, they need to pass a key as an EUWS, EUS, which is the key for the east US location. And if you want to create a look resource in the west US, they need to pass the key as this particular function. So now look, let's look at how do we use the lookup function in this scenario. So I'll use the lookup function in the variable var and then I will use it here and then we will have a location, another variable, for example, I'm just defining a variable so that we can read it properly. Location. Okay. Now what we can do is here. So this is how the very first thing we can use use the location like this. We can do a location function here as well. So what we are saying, whichever whoever is passing this location value, they have to pass the value as in, let's say in this case, EUS, if I'm getting the EUS as in value, they will return the value as the location as this particular value. So my lookup function will search this location key inside the allowed location with the help of this key. So in this case, the key will be EUWS, EUS, and it will try to find out a value out of this particular key. Okay. I can also try and use a output variable just for the demonstration so that we know what exactly it is going to return. So now if I run Terraform init and Terraform plan, that should basically create a resource for me. 
and now if I run Terraform plan. So if you look at the output of this Terraform plan, this is what I'm getting because I'm passing the value or the key of my lookup function as the EUS. So it has returned the va value of part of my map, which is the value is the East US. And similarly, we are simply able to project the outcome or project the plan of the storage account because we are passing the correct location. So now let's look at something negative. For example, if I pass the location as in EUS01, which is a invalid location type. So if I pass this value, then what would be the outcome? Because in this case, I'm trying to pass the value as EUS01 and that value will be used inside this lookup function against this type of map object and we know that in this map we do not have a key called EUS01. So it will try to find out that particular key and obviously it's not going to find the key then we are expecting an error while executing a plan. So let's look at if it throws an error. So like I mentioned it's going to fail because it's trying to find a queue which doesn't exist in the map. So with that kind of a code, with the help of such a powerful function, which is a lookup function, you can basically pre-validate your code and you can enforce your execution, program execution, or you can enforce your user to provide a specific allowed values. If they are not providing such values, then your program will fail. That's one of the use for the lookup function. Now, there might be a scenario wherein you may want to perform a lookup function on a map with a specific key, and you do have a requirement if a particular key has been not been found in a map object, then you do may you may want to use a default value. For example, in this case, if a user do not provide a right location or if they at all forget to provide the value of a location for example if they are passing the location as in blank okay in such cases you may want to use a default value so what you can do here is you can provide the parameters in default so i can say if it is not providing the values so i can say just create a resource in the west europe region okay so this is what I'm going to do it here. Obviously I need to use the same location here as well. So if the location is not found here in this object, use this particular default value. So now this time it will uh, compile the plan and if it doesn't find it, what it will do, it will try to provision a resource in the West Europe region. Let's see if it works like that. So as we can see, it's returning the outcome as in the default value of the lookup function and we are not getting any error even though we are passing the location as a blank and with that blank value, we are using the lookup function on the allowed location. Obviously, it is not finding that particular blank location in that map object and it's returning the West Europe as in result. So this is how we can use the lookup function in your Terraform object i have just given you a simplest demonstration but if it might possible in your application in your infrastructure as code you might have a complex map object or object type where you are using the key value pair within the object then you may want to find out a specific key values and in such cases you lookup can be a very powerful function to use in your program so again when to use the function if you have a object map attribute within the object and if you would like to find a specific value from the given key from the map then you should use the lookup function again just to show you this is the definition of the lookup function it gets the map as an input object find the key which you provide in the second object and then it returns the value of that specific key as a result. 
if it doesn't find the value of a specific key or if it doesn't find the key within the map then you do have a option to provide a third parameter to get a use of the default value in case if you need it i hope you find it useful and you will use the lookup function in your terraform code i do use lot in my terraform configuration in my projects which i'm working on if you find it useful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video